let's discuss gradient of a straight line so first let, let's look into the definition so what is a gradient now we need to understand the meaning of this word first we know what a straight line is we have been you know drawing straight lines since grade 7 onwards so what do you mean by gradient uh, this is a mathematical term so we need to first understand what the word gradient means so in, in simple terms i'll try to explain this but a gradient means uh, it is a measure of how steep a line is simple as that so for example this uh, is a, is a uh, figure given to us and there are three straight lines drawn so we can clearly see that line l1 has a slope which is less than the slope of line l2 that means that line l2 has a greater slope than line l1 right and line l3 is the steepest of all the three lines so that means that line l3 will have the greatest gradient right line l1 will have a gradient yes it has a slope but the great the value of the gradient is less than the gradient of L, l2 and l2's gradient is obviously less than the gradient of l3 so in simple terms gradient is the measure of steepness right the slope of a straight line so let's see i'm just giving an example so that means uh, the gradient of line l1 is for example uh, 2 and the gradient of line l2 it has to be greater than 2 because line l2 has a greater slope right it, it is more steeper than line l1 right because the gradient means its measure of how steep a line is right so we just checking how steep a line is so the gradient has to be greater than l1 so let's say let's say it has it has to be greater than 2 right so let's say it's 3 so line l3 is the the steepest of all the lines so the gradient of line l3 will be the greatest of the of the three lines so let's say it has a gradient of 4 right so we are try to understand the concept that gradient is the measure of steepness right so we are just trying to you know define that how steep a line is right so the the steeper the line the greater the value of the gradient will be the number will be greater the less steep the line is the the lesser will be the number of the gradient right so i hope this is clear and one more thing if a line is horizontal it is parallel to x-axis so the gradient will be zero why zero because it has absolutely no slope it, it is not steep it has no slope in it so if a line which is horizontal to x-axis the gradient will be zero because it has no slope let's see how we can calculate the gradient of the straight line so let's take two points let's take this point p1 as x1 and y1 what do you mean by that the coordinates because it's point p1 so for our own convenience uh, this x coordinate is x1 because this is the x coordinate of point 1 and this is y coordinate of point 1 so we've written 1 with that uh, let's take another point p2 and the coordinates will be x2 and y2 because this is the x coordinate of point 2 so we have written 2 with that and this is the y coordinate of point 2 so we have written 2 with that right so that it's easier for us to understand okay x1 means the x coordinate of point 1 and x2 means the x coordinate of point 2 similarly y2 means the y coordinate of point 2 and y1 means y coordinate of y1 right so it's easier to understand right so what is the formula for the gradient so a uh, gradient is basically the difference in the y coordinates that is y2 minus y1 difference means you subtract so the difference in y coordinates divided by the difference in x coordinates so over x2 minus x1 i hope i'm very clear very simple straightforward formula the formula 
to calculate the gradient of a straight line provided you're given any two points on the straight line you just need two points on a straight line to calculate the gradient so what is the formula the difference in the y coordinates and what do you mean by difference you need to subtract the y coordinates so y2 minus y1 over divided by the difference in x coordinates so over x2 minus x1 and and i, I also tell my students because sometimes they they get confused initially at the start of the topic uh, that whether uh, the difference in, in in y coordinates was in the numerator or the difference in x coordinates was in the numerator so i tell them it's the formula is rise over run right so rise is always along y axis and run is always along x axis right so i tell my students that beta the formula for the gradient is rise over run so rise is along y axis so that means the difference in y coordinates will come in the in the numerator and because the run is along x axis so the difference in the x coordinates will come in the denominator so it's very simple formula uh, you just need to subtract uh, the, uh, the the y coordinates divided by uh, the difference in the x coordinates and you will get the answer for the gradient of the straight line so once again what is the formula for the gradient y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so let's look into an example so that this concept is further clear let's have a look at this example so we need to find the gradient of this line and we can see we are given two points on the straight line right so the coordinates of point a are 1 and 2 one is the x coordinate of point a and two is the y coordinate of point a and the coordinates of point b are 4 and 5 4 is the x coordinate of point a of point b and 5 is the y coordinate of point b so first we'll write the formula for the gradient so the gradient is y2 minus y1 the difference in y coordinates over x2 minus x1 the difference in x coordinates right so let's plug in the values so let's take this point 2 and let's take this point 1 so y2 minus y1 so that this will be 5 minus 2 over x2 minus x1 now we will subtract the difference in the x coordinates so because this was point 2 so 4 minus 1 right so we know this is 3 over 3 and the gradient of the slope the gradient of the straight line or you can say slope of the straight line is 1 I hope this is pretty simple this should be you know very clear uh, and uh, let's take a look into another example right so in this question we can again see we are given a straight line and we've got two points on that straight line so we need to find the slope of the line or the gradient of this line so again we will write the formula first so the formula for the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right so let's plug in the values so the difference in the y coordinates that is 5 minus 2 over the difference in the x coordinates so that is 1 minus 4 right so the answer is uh, 3 over minus 3 and we know that that uh, this sign multiplies with the sign of the term which is positive so the answer will be minus 1 so the gradient of this slope is minus 1 right but uh, please remember one thing if a line slopes upwards towards the right the gradient is always positive right if a line slopes downwards towards the right the gradient is always negative right the gradient is always negative once again if a line slopes upwards towards the right the gradient is always positive and if a line slopes downwards towards the right the gradient is always negative so that means 
now by just looking at the line you should be able to pick that is the gradient positive or negative so if a line that is sloping upwards so by just looking at the line and we know the concept that if we will calculate the gradient will be positive right so please remember this these are very useful concepts and and you should remember them right right let's look into another question Calculate the gradient of the line joining the following pair of points. Well, so we have given a line on which these two points lie. So how do you calculate the gradient? Again, first we write the formula for the gradient, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Right? So just plug in the values. Let's say this is point 2 and this is point 1. So y2 minus y1. Over x2 minus x1. So carefully plug in the coordinates with sign. X2 minus x1. So x1 is minus one, right? So you need to put the brackets as well. So this is three over minus into minus is plus. So three over two. So this is the gradient of this line uh, on which uh, these which which connects. The, the the pair of these two points, right? So this is the gradient. Let's look into this question, this part. So again, we need to find the gradient of the line joining the following pair of points. So what is the gradient? Again, y two minus y one over x two minus x one, right? So y two. Let's take this as point two, and this is point one. So y two minus y one. Minus sign of the formula y1 is negative over x2 minus x1, right? So the direction should be the same. If this is y2, it has to be x2, right? So this is minus into minus plus over minus one. So the answer is seven over minus one, which is which is minus seven, which is minus seven. So I hope you've understood how to calculate the gradient and what is the basic concept of gradient. And by just looking at the lines, now you should be able to pick which line has a positive gradient and which line has a negative gradient. So I hope you've liked the video. You've learned how to calculate the gradient. So please tell me in the comments.